Good morning, Ms. Chang. I am sorry to interrupt you, but I need to ask you about one of your students, Lydia. Yeah, Lydia is absolutely amazing. What's up? That's the problem, Ms. Chang. She just always finishes her work super early and it's always right. That sounds exactly like Lydia. What's the problem? How am I supposed to keep her busy? The other day I gave the class 25 math problems. I gave Lydia 50. She finished those too. Ms. White, please stop doing that. Why not? Because you're basically punishing her for knowing the material. So like if you, let's say you're teaching multiplication, right? And you give 25 problems and she shows you that she knows how to do it. Why do you have to give her more of the same? How about she be like a teacher helper, kind of like a mini tutor? That's no better. Please don't do that either. What do you suggest I do to support this scholar? Find out what she's interested in and let her explore that. Let her read. Let her do it. Worst case scenario, let her relax as long as she's not bothering anybody else. I think scholars should always be busy. Let's say you finish all your work early and the principal finds out. So the principal's like, oh, you finished your work early. Here's some more work because you obviously you've got to stay busy. Or better yet, since you finished so efficiently, how about you go help all the other teachers? You know good and well that teachers finishing their work early is not a reality. You got me there.